new machine day brand new Avant 650i with all the options that you could want and some options that you were told cannot be had prime mover at the back Kubota 1.5 liter turbo diesel engine about 33 kilowatts that moves uh, three hydraulic pumps one for the driving and two for the auxiliary hydraulics at the back and at the front at max rpm and uh, two pumps engage the auxiliary hydraulics uh, puts out about 75 liters per minute 50 model number designates that it's a uh, dual speed up to 25 kilometers an hour with these tires with uh, lower 26 uh, by 12 by 12 tires it's about 23 kilometers per hour max speed comes with the GT cab fully enclosed with the road legal lights front and back blinkers on the four corners on the top of the cab and uh, this AC unit the default tire options for the 650 is uh, 320 slash uh, 55 by 15 so 15 inch rims 10 bolt pattern should fit uh, the 700 series also the road traffic kit also includes two mirrors and a windshield wiper with uh, washing fluid comes with uh, hydraulically actuated quick attach at the back two additional weights 90 kilograms each comes with a hitch with a 50 millimeter pole and for the agricultural trailers seven pin socket for the trailer Tefa engine eater 230 volts and obviously came with the Tefa do Shuko extension cable. Two way real hydraulics with tank return. At the front, the faster connector with opti control plug, pressure return tank. And there's an uh, optional extra that you were told you cannot get these pressure return or uh, plumb to the same lever that the rear hydraulics are. So you can either run on the additional hydraulics in the front or at the back. The cab door can be locked inside. Quite comfy. Here we have the heating, you can switch on the rear AC, control the fan speed. The seat has a built-in harness for, you know, reasons and also there is three-point harness option. The seat's bounciness is adjustable as is front and back movement and back wrist angle. For the top row of switches we have working lights, warning beacons, parking brake, hydraulic coupler at the front slow speed, high speed, travel and boom, suspension on or off and hazards bottom row of switches so this enables the PTO mode so the drive motors are disabled you can only use the auxiliary hydraulics seat heating work lights integrated to the front driving lights uh, 
side to side lock and one pump or two pumps Boop. and in the ignition for the hydraulic levers this is the front hydraulic engaged or reverse boom out boom in and same for the rear hydraulics the eight-way joystick boom in out auxiliary hydraulics and opti control in or out and it also goes comes with uh, anti-slip valve switch on the joystick so press that and all four wheels should be spinning at the same speed compared to previous models the boom floating is activated by pushing the joystick forward and locking it so under the armrest there are places for more switches currently occupied by the opti control selector so main throttle quite useless radio cigarette lighter or just power plug so this is a computer board some fuses two speakers at the back some tiny ones in the front as it's equipped with uh, road traffic kit, it has uh, front lights, front off, marker lights, low beam, high beam, and signal. And this is for the washer fluid and wiper. Washing fluid reservoir. Right side window can be easily opened and also lifted off from the hinges. When running the AC, you can also open up the louvers here to circulate the inside air and maybe dry it up. here says that it's 1630 kilograms but in its current configuration it's more like uh, 2100 a little bit of storage at the back a little bit on the left a little cup holder something here and you can put stuff also under the steering wheel on the top left there is cabin lights and some directional light on the top right this should be a microphone for the bluetooth connectivity via the radio turn the vent upside down in a ditch and can't get out from the door then here's a hammer that you can beat yourself with there's four adjustable vents. And one by your legs. And a little lifting capacity chart on the roof here. And a sun visor. Not sure how useful this is. The machine comes with uh, two ignition keys and one battery disconnect and some paperwork, manual, declaration of conformity, Kubota engine, manual, radio.
and registration so not much it did come with this transportation lockout thing but uh, there is no attachment point for it like previous models had under the cab here standard with the GT cab there are mud cords front and back but there should be probably no step written on it because they are quite flimsy the number plate holder is uh, done by some Finnish standard or something and for Estonian number it's not quite ideal it's very difficult to take off the hood from the engine I'll probably modify this the weights came standard with M12 lifting guys but I've replaced it with a regular bolt that I have to cut a bit lower if I'm not mistaken then this model has drive-by-wire throttle so for startup I have it in the minimal position turn the key it does some dance on the LCD LCD shows RPM and hydraulic flow fuel consumption how many hours on the clock outside temperature lifting uh, capacity fuel clock engine temperature oil temperature battery voltage and the uh, DPF system This will force the DPF regeneration and this inhibits it. So that's about sums up the Avant 650i. I'll probably do a follow up video when I've used it some more and can say about its quirks and behaviors.